Okay, we'll now uh, move on to uh, our award winners. Um, and David's going to uh, hand the prizes over. Uh, Craig is going to take a photograph for posterity. And uh, Stephen is going to try and match the prize table up with the running order I've just dropped on the floor. <laughs> so, anyway, we, we start off with uh, the safety devices trophy. We got this trophy when we started the 205 championship back in 2003. I knocked on an awful lot of doors. One of the doors was safety devices. They were very, very supportive and they give us a trophy. Trophy is a roll cage uh, and mounted. Uh, so you can guess what it's for. It's gone to some really memorable, you know, deserving people over the years. But we, we don't just give it to people because of it most accidents or things like that, or the most spectacular <laughs> accident. We, we like to give it for the, the spirit that's shown as well. And this year it is going to someone who's shown real spirit. Uh, he's vied for this trophy a few times. You know, it's part, part of his makeup that he's tried for it. So, and, and there's always an element of trophy, uh, an element of drama in a bent motor car. Um, but getting back up in the saddle after you've had a big accident is something that you know, takes a lot of doing. So this year, the safety devices trophy for the spirit of the championship is going to Jordan Black. When you're driving through a stage and someone crawls out of a ditch in front of you, what do you do? Jordan went off and followed him down a 30 foot drop. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. The next trophy we've got is we've, we split the season into two just that we appreciate how much it costs to do the whole championship. So we have a summer, summer cup and an autumn cup. And the summer cup this year, um, we have what's called the Gaudi's Trophy. Now this was given to me, somebody found it in a box. And it's a famous old trophy with some famous old names on it. And one of the famous old names is mine. So I said, you might like to present it. It's the old Gaudi's Peugeot Award. So this is going to the winner of the Summer Cup, and that's Scott McLean. Uh, I don't know if they're down from the north. A long, a long way from Ullipool. Um Next, possibly the same thing, is the Autumn Cup uh, winner, and that is the Wintex Trophy. Once again, that appeared in the very first year we started. Uh, we had almost had no finishes this year, but it was won on the Creel. And this year the prize goes to Ali Galbraith. Once again, they're probably trying to, trying to hold, nail the roof down a, a little of gilt pet. So the West have done pretty well in these things. Um, anyway, the next one we do have, we, last year we introduced a new trophy. Um, we, we lost a dear friend last year, rallying lost a dear friend, but we, us in particular. Uh, a guy called Bill Traquair, who most a lot of people will know, um, he was a huge supporter of us, and uh, we decided that we would long, we would have a trophy to cover the or, or to make a note of Bill's uh, contribution to our sport, and we decided it should go to some teenage member of the competitors, um, and this year um, the the teenager we've decided to give it to is a young lad who's appeared this year and has really. Got us all going. He's a really lovely lad, and if I say that his trademark, uh, well, Bill's trademark used to be the pipe. This lad's got a trademark, and, and the trademark is, I well. <laughs> anyway, from down Newton Stewart Way, it's Scott Peacock. Scott's going to put the maps away next year and get behind the wheel. So watch out, Mr. Bogey. <laughs> I should have said earlier, it's quite dazzling to see such an, an array of red. I think I'm the only one that's not got red tonight, John. <laughs> Lovely shirts. Now we move on to the classes um, and we'll start off in the civic class. And. Uh, no. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got it out of order. So the the Pierce the what's it called? Piercing Quake. It's the the Piercing Quake, which is for the four events, the highest scorer on the four events in the borders or the southern part of the country. And th this year, um, 
we're, we're very pleased that he's bringing one trophy home, otherwise there'd be awful trouble in the house. Uh, and it goes to Tom Hine. Now we can go on to the classes. Well done, Tom. And we start off with uh, third in the, the civic class, uh, and that uh, goes to Grant Ingalls. <laughs> Grant only started two rallies. Um, so he, he started three, but uh, he, won, he won the two he finished, he won. Um, and with more starts, who knows? And uh, the brave man decided to use Nobles and Creel. Grant <laughs> also gets a check for £100 for being a good guy. And now the third civic class co-driver uh, from the north again, Lorna Weir. Lorna is, is one of only two ladies gracing our uh, entries this year. We need more. <laughs> and now we're going to the, the third 205 class driver. Um, uh, this uh, for the guys one, this is not a here, and that is Nick Thorne. A lot of uh, Nick's success this year has been down to James, who's Kept an Excel Brits help build car going on. Did you take the check? <laughs> <laughs> Nick uh, James also gets a check. We're pleased, pleased to see that he sold the 205 and there's a Honda nestling in the garage, so that's good. Um, and now we go on to uh, the co -driver, third 205 class co driver and second junior 205 class co driver, and that's uh, Scott Peacock. So I have a feeling, Donald, that a bigger cabin is going to be required. Hmm? <laughs> Maybe David Bogie will give you his old one. He must have turned it up by now. <laughs> now we go on to the second in class. So the second civic class driver in his Honda Jordan, and that's Neil Redford. Once again, a driver who we didn't see enough of this year, but I think uh, he's, he's, he's dipped his tie in the paint for the car. <laughs> well done, well supported. That's Jordan Now we're going to the second Civic Class co-driver, and that goes to Michael Henry. <laughs> if you notice, Michael's got a slight nervous Tick. That's because he sits beside one of the guys who knows no fear. He knows no fear, sitting beside one of the quickest class four drivers we have out there. But well done anyway to Michael. Now we go on to the 205, second in class, and second junior 205 class driver is Jordan Black. Just reward for Jordan after just getting his head down and doing what he could. He gets a, an envelope with a cheque for £100 in it as well. And now we go on to the second junior 205 class co-driver and first junior 205 class co-driver. And for that... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 <laughs> He's not here anyway, so um, it's going to it's been won by Scott Hunter, uh, who's actually at uh, one of our other old co-drivers, Eildon Hall's wedding today. Oh god, he's not getting married, is he? So, <laughs> well, he'll be married by now. So is somebody gonna pick that up or is it for James? Yeah. Ian. Ian's got to be in the show. He picked up prizes last year. Yeah. Just to get a photo with David. <laughs> <laughs> if, 
framed on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> now we go on to the second of the 205 class and uh, boy was this hard fought for and you know it's hard won but at the end of the day he, he, he had to uh, bow down to uh, a quicker driver on the last event so the second 205 class driver was Tom Hind Tom is a man who keeps reinventing himself and uh, he, he, he first appeared in the 205 because challenge lists in 2004. <laughs> so he almost got his hands on the driver's trophy this year but he put his car up for sale two weeks ago and then we got a call last week saying, nah, change my mind, he's coming back next year in the 205. So there we are. We go on to the first 205 class co-driver, and this is, gets the Pemberton Shield. Check for 100 pound and a picture, and that goes to Sue Hind. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Despite Tom being in the champions in 2004, it's the first time that Sue has been out competing in the championship and it's been a real pleasure to have it about. <laughs> now we're going to the first Civic class co-driver. Um, gets the RSAC Motorsport Salver. £100 and picture. And that goes to Martin McCabe. Martin certainly achieved his award the hard way. He did it with four different drivers, um, three in the same car, but one in a different car. So he really has put it about a bit this year as Martin. <laughs> <laughs> and now we come to the top of the three and the 205s. And we have the first junior 205 class driver, the first 205 class, sorry, junior driver, and the first 205 class driver, getting the ABR trophy and the Barlow Quake, and two checks for a thousand pound, and a picture, and that goes to Sean Robson. Is the first person ever in the championship to come back and defend his title and we were delighted when he did it and he did it in style but he left it a bit late and uh, things were not looking good in the middle of the season but I'll, I'll have a wee chat with you in a, a minute Sean if you just right, sit up the front and I'll get to the video but uh, a very worthy winner and if you, if you win if you win it, you'll go high. Anyway, now we come to the man who knows no limit to the rev counter. And it's the first Civic class driver, and he gets the brick and steel trophy, check for a thousand pound and a picture, and that is Graham Shonneville. <laughs> Graham kept the Civic on song all year, and certainly the sound of the car going through the forests. Was, was amazing, everyone loved it. You certainly knew when he was in the forest, you, you could hear the engine screaming, and now and again you could hear oohs and ahs from the crowds and things like that. Anyway, a very worthy Civic class winner. So I would just